welcome to a brand new video. Today I am filming my most anticipated uh, video yet and that is my vlog introduction <laughs> of uh, me reading A Suitable Boy. So um, this is A Suitable Boy and it is a chunkster. Um, it is 1535 pages long um, but this book is much loved in the literary community in India and otherwise um, this book is just oh my god what do I even say Vikram Seth is a brilliant writer I have read a few of his books before and I've absolutely loved all of them um, so I was very keen to read this but since it was 1535 pages long I kind of had been putting it off for many many years but um the BBC just made um this book into I'm just gonna keep this down because it's too heavy to hold it um it just made this book into a TV series with the most phenomenal cast um so I was like I need to watch it but before I watch it I need to read the book because I'm I'm one of those people who like like reading the book before I watch the TV series. So um, I thought it was time. So it is time. So I read the book um, and it was it was a journey. It was a journey you guys and um, what I have done to make just life simple and easy is break this video up into various parts. So you will see the timestamps down below. Um, you are right now in the introduction. Hi, hello parts. <laughs> but soon after this, I am going to give you a brief introduction into what the book is about. Then you will see the vlog aspect of it. Um, and then you will see my spoiler free thoughts and then I get very briefly into a spoilery aspect of um the book as well because there's a lot to talk about there's 1535 pages worth of talking about so uh yeah I had things to say so check it out I guess um yeah <laughs> so that's basically what we're gonna do I hope you enjoy it if you do then please do uh subscribe hit the like button you know all of that sort of good stuff I'm telling it to you now itself because well you know okay <laughs> let's get into it so what is this book about you ask I would actually suggest that one goes into this book blind I'm keeping it down again um because honestly um the beauty of it is that like you go in completely blind right however um if you do want to know um some bits um it is that this book is a family saga in fact a family's saga um it is set in the 1950s in um India and it is set in a fictional state called Purva Pradesh in a fictional city um called Brahmapur but they do travel within cities um as well throughout India so you get to kind of see that part now 1950s in India especially really critical um because it is right after India achieved its independence that is in 1947 is when we got that um so basically you get to see um what's happening in the newly independent India, um, what's happening with politics, what's happening with the people um, and people are still going through um, a lot of the um, Muslim and Hindu um, riots and, and things are still a bit raw so you see that whole aspect of it but why it is called a suitable boy is because one of the families okay is Mrs. Rupa Mehra so the Mehra family um so Mrs. Me Rupa Mehra is the matriarch of her family and she um wants to find her daughter Lata a suitable boy so through this process they're basically um their family is a catalyst to introduce you to a lot of the other families um which are the Kapoors um the Nawabs um the uh the Chatterjee's and just you you get to know about um, all these various different people um, and uh, just a bunch of other people as well not just those families um, and uh, yeah it's very interesting and that's basically how it goes about um, and that's basically all you need to know to be honest one more thing I do also want to add that this entire book okay. I hate myself. Uh, <laughs> this entire book is just within a year. 
So if you think that this is um, a book that lasts so many years and you get to see this family and, and, and various people like change over many years, no, it's only one year. Um, one and a half, I would probably say. And I think that is so fascinating. So, and now let's get into the vlog aspect of it. Uh, we are live. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to a brand new vlog with my brother. Hello. Hi. Uh, he just handed me the book uh, which is A Suitable Boy which I'm going to try to read in three days. I think I'm nuts. So does everyone else. But let's see how it goes. Unfortunately, right now it is 3.45. Didn't realize how long, uh, how much time has gone by. So I'm going to try to read a couple of pages to just kind of see how fast I read the book, actually. And then I will sleep, I think. Whether you have anything to say? Please do. Please sleep. Yeah. Okay. So this book is 1,500 and... 35 pages, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to the camera with her. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this tiny font. You can't see, but it's really tiny. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm scared. I don't know what I've gotten myself into. Why do I say that I'm going to do these things? Oh, well, let's see. If I cannot finish in three days, it's fine. I will go for four days. If I cannot finish in four days, I will go for five days. <laughs> Yay. Okay, cool. Vidar, do you have anything else to say? No. Okay, cool. All right, bye. So I just read 10 pages and then on Bookly, which is my um, app that I use to kind of figure out how much more time I have to read a book, it told me that I have about 23 hours to finish this book based on the speed that I am going. So that's great news because that would mean that I would have to read for about seven and a half hours a day, which is just a lot. Look, he's just laughing at me. It's just like, you're in deep shit. <laughs> and that is true. So, I'm going to read for a little more. And then I'm going to sleep. And then I will see you in the morning. Or afternoon, depends on when I wake up. Because it's like 4 in the morning. Oh, goodbye. Hi, it is now 7.30 in the morning. And have I slept? No, I haven't. I have read for about an hour and a half um, of the book. And I basically finished the first chapter, which is about 83 pages. Um, and yes, be aware that the text is extremely small. So it's, it's taking me some time. But however, I am loving this book. Um, I think we've just been introduced only like I think about like half the characters so far but all of them just sound really cool. Um, some I hate already. Uh, I'm talking about Arun and Minakshi, those pieces of shit. I don't like them. <laughs> um, I think Varun is really sweet. I think uh, Malati is amazing. I love her and the way that she was brought up. Um, I like Lata quite a bit, though I feel like she has more growing to do. So let's see how that goes. But yeah, essentially what's happened in this book is that if you don't know what this book is, um, it's basically a uh, a bunch of families right now have been introduced because um, one has gotten like the elder sister of this one family of the Mehras have gotten has gotten married. Sarita got married to this boy named Pran and um, she he has like a brother and all of that sort of stuff. And basically we were introduced to both sides of the family, um, Savita's family, who is I think the main character is going to be... Um, her sister, whose name is Lata, and then uh, basically her mom and like her best friend and brothers and sister-in-law and just like all of that sort of stuff. So 
yeah um end is just chapter one so yeah <laughs> that's my thought so far um i will of course keep you in the loop i think what i'm gonna do is basically just stay up the entire day now because uh yeah just fuck it <laughs> uh yolo and uh and because i'm really actually enjoying the book like it's really good so it is like super heavy to pick up though so i've kept like some two three pillows <laughs> and i'm reading it on on a weight <laughs> so i don't have to hold it up <laughs> but yeah those are my thoughts so far i will get back to you after maybe i finish chapter two chapter three let's see okay that's about it i will talk to you soon and then i forgot to film it but my friend siddharth bali sent me all of this for breakfast he is so sweet look at that i love him but yeah it's a lot it's a lot hi hello good morning <laughs> it is seven ish in the morning and i just woke up i slept at like i would say like five or something in uh the evening yesterday and then um because i was just really tired because i hadn't slept <laughs> but basically i slept for 14 hours <laughs> Which is great because I'm supposed to be reading but essentially I woke up at like 2 and realized that like if I do not sleep right now then my sleeping cycle will get fucked. So anyway, done with that. Um, I have read uh, quite a bit actually. So I've read about 250 pages from the book and I am uh, I think 5 parts in um so that is cool um i still have so yesterday i did about four hours of reading um and i have about 19 hours to go now <laughs> so basically today and tomorrow i would have to read about 10 hours each which doesn't sound fun but i can still do perhaps let's see how it goes i'm really liking what was i saying i'm sorry i've just woken up okay so my brain's just like um yeah but i'm really enjoying the book i'm really enjoying the writing i um it doesn't feel like a chore at all you know what i mean where like i'm just like oh fuck i'm gonna have to read for 10 hours today i'm just like no that sounds great because like this book is cool um but yeah clearly a lot has been developed already within this book um a lot of it is still yeah it's uh it, it's a thing it's a thing i don't know mm, how how much of spoilers can i give i don't know but uh i will i will think about it when i have not just woken up so you'll probably get another update Soon enough. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. It is the third day and I was supposed to finish the book today and I have not. <laughs> it's, it's very big and I am not even halfway through. So that's surpri not surprising at all. Also, if you see my face is weirdly flushed in this camera, it's because I went exercising and then promptly threw up. Because that's my body. <laughs> anyway, but I am, um, what's it? 
like about 600 pages in and again really enjoying it um i the characters are getting fully flushed out and it is wow you can see my bathroom um yeah it's great uh the story is really interesting and uh the characters again lata i feel like is a little too passive passive still like i'm still not understanding completely why she is the main character um she seems cool but still like right now they've just like they've reached calcutta and like there's that whole thing with amit and all of that going on but i don't know she just seems kind of like meh minakshi is pissing off um the mother mrs mera is just like why does she cry so much i don't understand um but yeah apart from that um we i think the next chapter i'm getting into um man man man's uh perspective um so i'm looking forward to that because i really like what <laughs> he's going through even though he's like an idiot but uh, yeah that's basically been it so far um i'm clearly not finishing it in 3 days i'm going to try to read how much of it i can today um i have decided that i'm going to try to read about 200 ish more pages and then um I will see how it goes tomorrow onwards so maybe I will try to attempt to finish this in 5 days. So that is the plan for now. I'm going to go have a quick shower and stop being so weirdly flushed. Oh, did you see that? Oh. Cool. Okay, bye. Hi, and this is Smriti from After the Shower. I realized that I haven't I didn't say a lot that I wanted to say because I was just like <laughs> dying <laughs> after the exercise but um what i wanted to say was that there are lots of parts in this book where in um vikram said kind of goes into the history and like thoughts of each and every character and like that's great cuz like he's basically sorry um fleshed out like basically all the characters that we kind of see um for example we get to know about the history of how um the judge became the judge um this guy who was like amit or like what's his surname um chatterjee <laughs> why the judge chatterjee became judge chatterjee like did i need to know that information so that's basically my only um issue not issue really i'm like is this really necessary uh but we'll find out i'm liking it though i like that um it's very fleshed out but also at the same point of time i'm just like did i need to know this do you know what i mean anyway i'm going to get into book reading now cuz i have gotten out of the shower and i have so much so much left i mean not all this but you know Hi. So, it's like 5 in the morning and I thought that I would stop reading about 2 hours ago, but I haven't been able to keep the book down. Um it's been I don't know. It's like I'm saying like okay, I'm going to read like 50 pages more and then go to sleep and then I just continue and then <laughs> it's not like a murder mystery or anything, you know, but I still want to read. because it's just very like a, the world is very immersive and the writing is very good so there's that um i have uh not much updates to give you which would be non spoilery but let me just say that mr segal from the book you be sick sick yuck oh my god that part if you guys have read a suitable boy and know what i'm talking about and with his and yeah i'm just like i had like i just i was feeling like bleh, and like i just wanted to go past it so fast oof people 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 anyway <laughs> so that's what it i think i am going to finally put it to rest i have now reached about page 700 ish i am on chapter oh i mean like part part what part 10 i'm on part 
again yay um so yeah that's basically where we are um i am looking forward to reading this in a few hours when i wake up <laughs> okay <laughs> that's about it um bye hello i have not been updating this vlog quite a bit and i'm sorry for that but i don't quite know what to tell y'all um today is thursday and it is 3 30 <laughs> um and it is very rainy outside so there's that but i have finally reached the 1000 mark in the book oh my god it's i'm i'm so excited that i'm here um and i don't know how to update you guys because i'm trying so hard to not give you guys spoilers uh because i think that that's the way to go about this book like you should just go in with um no concept of exactly what this book is about and just get fully immersed in it you know um i think that's how i did it and i'm fully enjoying my experience but let me just say that now that I've finally reached the 1000 mark, I can see a lot of characters that are finally being um, more, uh, what do I say? They, I feel like I've seen them grow and mature so much more. Definitely Man, um, after his whole experience that he went through. Um, and yeah, I really like that. I also really like the way that there are so many characters who normally were not interacting with each other are now interacting with each other through like weird circumstances um and then because of that there's a lot of like drama happening um and like things are unfolding um which is really really cool and i'm really liking the way that is taking place um and yeah it's just a lot of like things happen in this book which aren't like Ta -da -da, sort of um shock value but like it's like oh my god like for example there's this one thing um which this is not a spoiler but there's something called the pull mela that happens in brahmapur which is kind of like um this um thing where um it's like the at the ganges it's like this auspicious time and all of that sort of stuff and a lot of like um Sadhu sons kind of come um, there and there's something that happens during that time that honestly like I was so shook it. I was just like waiting for um, the I, I wanted to know what happened at the end of it because I was just like I cannot deal with this suspense um, and I just wanted it to be over and ultimately it was and like i was like i finally let go of the breath that i was holding in honestly it felt like that um and yeah it's just really good man i'm really enjoying this and like there's so many things in this book where like even now in the 1000 page mark um like vikram said is like kind of playing with you with like some things where you're like i know that there is something up but i don't know what it is like there's this whole thing with the nawab and saida bai and like i don't know i mean i'm kind of assuming but i don't quite know um but yeah like that's shit like it's he keeps bringing it up and then he never tells us what it is so i know that there's gonna be something at the end of this journey <laughs> which um i'm intrigued to know what it is and that's what is brilliant about this book that um it just keeps you going and is um so interesting and yeah um that is my update for now and um i will i will i will tell you what i think of it um i'm clearly not doing the um what's it i clearly didn't do three days uh so now i'm going to attempt one week um and I think I should be able to do it. Today is Thursday. If I finish this book by tomorrow, which I think I definitely can, um, if I really like pull through, then um, I would have finished it in a week. And hello, bird. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. Um, hope you're doing well. 
and peace a bye hello everyone and welcome to 6 o'clock in the morning 6:30 in the morning um it is <laughs> sunday oh you're like what where are the what are these time jumps uh these time jumps exist people this is my vlog welcome to it it is chaotic but it's cool um essentially what happened was that i am i was taking part in this uh, readathon and there was going to be this live discussion um it's called the indian readathon and uh we were going to discuss the namesake and even though i have read this book i read this book when i was like more than a decade ago so i was like i don't remember it so much now and if i have to discuss it then i have to read it so essentially on friday that's what i did i just read the book in a day um and a half actually even past the saturday um so i feel like that's when i just like paused on this book because i didn't read it um cuz i had to i had obligations okay um so i'm not going to count those days as part of me reading this book if that makes sense um but yeah i have i'm now about like i have only 400 pages left yes party party but um i have uh, again not too much to add apart from me saying that i still hate arun and minakshi they can suck an egg for all i care um <laughs> but apart from that i just think that um i am starting to slightly get annoyed with vikram seth just a little bit not because of what he's saying but in terms of like i'm like is this really necessary like it's definitely interesting so there's this whole chapter okay or like this whole part um which is from pandit nehru's perspective as well like you get like to understand the politics of that point of time and like just what all was happening and i thought that it was definitely interesting because i was like furiously googling stuff um because it just sounded really interesting and i would definitely like to read a book that um talks about that time for sure um but i was like is this going to help in where this book is going to progress and was this needed i don't know but well vikram you did what you had to do and i'm sure you had a reason you're still a little annoying though <laughs> uh but not to uh, take away from the book it was still wonderfully written um i am just on a deadline to try to finish your book <laughs> but yeah that's basically where we are now since i have been um so basically i woke up at 5:30 in the morning for the live show which i will link up here somewhere um and uh, yeah so if you want to check that out i was like basically like half asleep <laughs> but now i'm awake so i'm probably gonna get back into reading this one so i will uh probably finish this book maybe hopefully today and then i can say that i finished it in a week okay bye hi hello it is 7:30 in the evening and i fell asleep quite soon after um i slept at 10 um and then i slept for quite a bit because i was really tired um but of like i was really sleep deprived essentially but uh i have done a bit of reading um and i just want to come in here very quickly to say that vikram seth knows how to write because there was this one scene where there's like this communal violence thing happening i'm not giving spoilers don't worry but my heart was in my mouth i just was like what the hell and like literally in the next few pages there's this very sweet romantic sort of um moment between um savita and her husband pran and i was just like what but it felt a little jarring because i was literally like my heart was pounding and then the next one it's like oh time has gone by and now they're just chilling in in a boat and i was like Whoa, okay um, but yeah i still i still get what he's trying to do but i'm kind of like why 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 was that why did that jump have to happen 
but then i can't i can't say hi why didn't you write more about it because then like people will be like hello it's already 15000 15000 1500 pages how much more do you want so yeah this is this is just me rambling but uh that's what i came to say so far that he is an amazing writer and i am now going to finish i think the last 270 ish odd pages and then i will get back to you and uh, with my final thoughts okay exciting i also did a sanskrit's party uh -huh, where we spoke about the book um because multiple people had read it were reading it so yeah this is just this feels like a suitable boy time <laughs> so yeah anywho um i will talk to you super soon bye you saw just now was me freaking out over the end of part 17 cuz something happens in that part that just changed the tra trajectory of pretty much everyone in um the entire book um and it was done by one person and something happens and i was just like holy shit cuz like when i started filming i knew that something was going to happen and i knew there was going to be a confrontation but i didn't know what and shit <laughs> but then basically what happens after that is that um the book kind of just closes up um and i uh had thoughts cuz like uh well i don't know if i can get into it but essentially the elections happen and then you see what happens with the elections and i really like the way um that um you know you saw a completely different side of um khanna no what is his name mahesh kapoor uh, a completely different side of mahesh kapoor um and just and then a completely different side of another character as well who was also running um so yeah that's uh that and damn i was very emotional during this time as well i felt like um a lot of things were happening mm, which i i don't want to get into because spoilers but also i was just i i cried <laughs> during the last um few i mean the the 18th part and then um and then lata finally made a decision so you saw that bit and you got to see who the suitable boy is um but more discussion on that <laughs> in my next part i guess yeah which is basically a spoiler free thought on the entire book ha <sighs> okay so spoiler free section now the entire vlog that you just saw was essentially me giving you spoiler free thoughts of what i was thinking during the entire book so i don't know how much there is to kind of discuss but i will give you a brief idea um as to why i loved this goddamn book okay so first of all i'm like tearing up just thinking about it Hmm. Hmm. Come. Okay. So there were so many different relevant topics that were being discussed in this book. So as um you may or may not know, this book is set in the nineteen fifties. Um, right after um India won its independence, right? So there were just so many things happening. So be it like you got to see people dealing with um. 
turmoil of they had just come from um lahore and how they had to like come to brahmapur um and they went through that entire journey right so like mrs tandon and all of her um thoughts and 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 how they kind of dealt and also you saw um how fraught relationships were between the hindus and the muslims at that point of time especially because right after the partition there was just so much of violence that happened um that you just saw this all like it was still brimming it was still like it wasn't at its boiling point but it was there were still fumes and and sparks of anything could have sparked it um and it was just at this very like tentative sort of time period so you would just like so anything could have kind of sparked it um and and it did which you saw so many different instances of it happening um and that bit was like there were so many times when that happened and i was just like oh my god um i was yeah it just kind of it really gave a really good understanding of what that was like um and then you went from that aspect which is the i guess the societal aspect of things and then you saw the political aspect of things so um this is the time so in the 1950s the general election was happening for the first time so you got to see um various different people so you saw you actually saw parliamentary sort of things happening you saw how it functioned um and then you saw how um there was a very important this big part of the book which was the zamindari system um and how there was they were trying to abolish that right because like there were these feudal lords um who would basically like um rule over people they were kind of like pseudo kings of their own um and how they kind of took advantage of the impoverished um and sure there were some zamindars which you saw were not bad um at all but essentially it was them trying to hold on to the past and there were people who were trying to celebrate new beginnings so it was just like a clash between those two as well um and you kind of saw that and i i really liked that you got the perspective from both both sides and you saw the rights and the wrongs from both sides um so you didn't you it's it's a gray, it's a very gray situation right um so yeah so that's basically um where it was and then you saw i really liked how um through um various characters so when something happens and you get to see the life in a village or you get to see um you know the the life of cobblers or you get to see because like cobblers were essentially the dalits um who were the the people of the lower rung of society or the muslims who were who could handle leather and and meats and all of that sort of stuff right um so you got to see their perspective as well um and i really liked seeing that bit as well um but apart from all of this you saw essentially what this book was about was about familial ties and how um various people kind of within families also interact with each other and um and this is uh families that you kind of are born into or the families that you are married into or the families that you um are friends with and they thus interact with um and i just found all of those interactions so interesting i've said this in the video but i really loved how in the beginning you had like these certain characters who were interacting with each other with each other and you were like sure fine but then towards the end you kind of had like these different sort of characters who you didn't really see like interacting with each other kind of interacting with each other and it was just so strange <laughs> but so cool how vikram seth kind of like did that um so i thought that was really interesting um but you also got to see um apart from i have notes <laughs> there like a bit i just like jotted down stuff um but you got to see spiritual leaders and um how people um dealt with that spirituality so you saw this one character who was very spiritual and had like all of these thoughts so he went and lived with this baba of sorts and you know like all of that sort of stuff so i thought um how was interesting as well cuz like i didn't get it at all <laughs> cuz i'm not a very spiritual spiritual human being um so yeah that 
I did, and there were just there were just so many other topics. Uh, there were topics of extramarital affairs. There was um, how people look at society. Um, and how they want to be like basically like how do you project yourself in society as well right and you saw that through like Arun and Minakshi and like just all of that and I just um I just really like that aspect of it I just really like seeing all of that um and then I guess that was like topics in general but there's this one bit in um which you see throughout the book and that is the um topic of um basically poets um and and galib and and the various different like um muslim shairi etc but you also see um which which you see because of like saida bai and various people who are like man who are very interested in um that aspect of um like poetry but you also see like a lot of literature through this book um and then you see basically because pran who is a character in the book he is an english teacher so you see his life in college you also see um like people in college going to um various english uh, lessons so lata goes and she's part of a play and like you know just like a bunch of things like that as well which i thought um you got to see that and then of course there's amit who is an actual poet um so you see um him and you see like his whole writing process and what a poet or writer could be like and um all of that sort of stuff as well which i found very interesting and very cool um and then with the characters themselves what i absolutely loved about this book is that this book spans literally just about a little more than a year right so you see it from like essentially one holy to the other holy and how characters change throughout this bit um and uh what i really liked about this is that you got to see these characters change but you also through time got to see various facets of these characters so there were say for example some characters who didn't really change right um but for example like ellen agarwal who is a politician um and you saw his um cutthroatness in in politics but then you got to see his um other side which is when he was with his daughter and how he cares about them and 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 just all of that sort of stuff about the daughter and his his family um so you're like this dude is not great but also at the same point of time he is just such a nice like father figure so i don't know how i feel about that and then there are characters who like for example mahesh kapoor in the beginning comes off super abrasive just very like i am only about my politics but then you see towards the end how much he actually cared about his family and how and you just kind of see that change right and i just really loved that aspect of um the characters um what else what else um yeah um what else in terms of generally the book um it made me feel feel all kinds of emotions i laughed so much during this book like vikram seth just has such an amazing wit he has um it, it's just such a light weirdly light read sometimes uh, and sometimes it gets super heavy right so there's sometimes when i'm just like my heart was in my in my throat like i i said this a couple of times but then there were times where i was just laughing out loud or there were times where i was like super emotional or there were times where just i angry about something um or parts which i just i was like i don't understand why this is happening this shouldn't happen just like all of those sort of different feelings um i felt during while reading this book and um i definitely think that um there will be um people of the the characters as well as the situations within this book will stay with me for a long period of time and i can say this definitely because it's been about mm, i would say like about well how long about a week and a half um 
post me reading this and I still remember this book insanely well even though there was 1535 pages of me to remember um so yeah so there's that um before I get into the spoiler discussion aspect of it I do want to um kind of just talk about my reading um process and just how it went for me so I did finish this book in um a little more than a week as I said um and essentially what I did was that if I if I just see my stats right I read this book like there were times when I read this book for about four hours I think a day the max I read this book was four hours a day um <laughs> And then, like, there were there was, like, a day in which I read for, like, 36 minutes or something like that. But essentially, could you read this book in a week? Very easily, to be honest. Uh, actually, not very easily. You could. You could. Like, if you were in a, on a summer break and whatever, you probably could. I do have a slightly higher um, reading speed. So, I guess that definitely helped me. But... Would I suggest that you read it in a week? No. Um, if you want to, sure, go for it. However, this book is just so lovely that you would want to stay with it for a long period of time. And um, I know people who have read this within a month. Um, and usually what happens is that when you read a book over a period of month, of a month you kind of you feel like oh will I remember who this character was or like all of that I don't really see that happening um because a this book has um you know the what's it called the family tree thingy here so you kind of know who's who and also these characters are so unforgettable how will you forget them um so that's that another thing holy shit another thing to kind of tell you about how smart Vikram Seth is is that his table of contents is a poem his table of contents is a poem it's crazy I'm like I read it and I was like you you've got to be kidding me right his table of contents is a poem anyway <laughs> Um, but don't read it too much because there are a bit of spoilers. Um, but yeah, um, this book, yo. Um, yeah, so that's essentially what I was trying to say. Uh, take your time with it. It's fine. It's not a race. This book is brilliant. You will love it. Um, there are certain aspects of it. If I have to say, um, did I love everything about this book? No. <laughs> there were some bits which you saw in my vlog aspect which I felt could have uh, been done with. But I still, now that I finished it and have spent some time away from it, I realized that it's still a really good... Um, the, I liked it now that I think of it. Um, while I was reading it, however, I was just like, mm, was this necessary? Um, so yeah, <laughs> maybe. I guess it's good that Vikram Seth kind of gave like every single character a backstory and you got to understand them completely. So definitely like that bit. Yeah, there were, there were, I don't think there was a single character that was just very, like, two-dimensional. There was there were dimensions to the person. So I thought that that was... Like, even people who were kind of mentioned a couple of times, you kind of just... Yeah. Interesting. Anywho, um, those are my thoughts. My spoiler-free thoughts. My spoiler-filled thoughts. I... Uh, okay. Let's say this, right? Lata's choice. Lata's choice. Did she have to be with Harish? I don't know. I really like Harish though. I really like the way he progressed um, from being this person who you were like, mm, it, like this guy seems like mm, whatever. But I really liked then you saw like how he was as a person and how he was so hardworking and just all of that. And I think I understood her perspective of like, you know, she just wanted to be fucking loved. That's basically what she wanted. And she knew that with Harish, she would get that and she would get um, a safe um, environment um, which she wouldn't get with Kabir. So I get that. But 
my, I wish that she just didn't choose. <laughs> I wish that she just went on with life um, and said, fuck marriage or something. But I guess it was the 1950s and she did have to choose. Um, and I did like Harish towards the end of it. Like, he just really loved the family. Like he loved... Um, people and just like his he cared for people and you could see that and I feel like that was a good choice right because yeah um and Amit was just too involved self-involved so it didn't make sense but yeah um I also wanted to discuss another thing which was of Man and how he decided to stab Feroz like I did not see that coming I was like no, you have got to be kidding me. Like, how the fuck did that happen? It was just... Because you could see Man, like, improving and he was on this trajectory. And then he just got so involved with Saida Bai and just, like... I don't know what was up with him. And I was just like, mm, why? What? Um, And then you could see how... Whew, but I just loved how towards the end, like, everyone was just forgiving and, like the family like the khans or the nawabs in general they were just so like you know what like ugh, i just love the relationship between feroz and man to be honest like when um feroz is um he feels better and I'm, I'm crying now <laughs> when feroz starts feeling better and then he tells man to come meet him and man just goes and then they basically just hold hands and, um, you know, like, that whole bit was just so touching and just so lovely. As you can see, I am just very invested in these characters. So I felt a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to end it here. <laughs> I am full blown crying about fictional characters. Okay. <laughs> um so that's the end. Uh okay. <laughs> Spoiler bits done. Okay. So um this is the end of um my uh journey. Uh what? I don't even know. One second. <sighs> okay. So this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you read this book. If you have read this book, then um, please do comment down below with um, whatever you thought or if generally if you haven't read this book, also comment down below with your thoughts. However, if you have read this book, please do say spoiler um, and then discuss things if you want to discuss it because I would love to discuss this book um, with you and um, yeah <laughs> okay that's about it this is a really long video but I hope you enjoy it okay <laughs> bye